So another free agent safety from the Cincinnati Bengals goes to an NFC South team. This time it's Jesse Bates, who has been a very good safety for Cincinnati. In 2020, he was Pro Football Focus's highest rated safety in the league. He now gets signed to, uh, I think, a, a deal that makes sense to me. It seems like a lot. It's a four-year deal uh, with $16 million a year, uh, $64 million total. Uh, while it is, you know, it's it's a high paid for a safety, uh, it is still, uh, you know, it's the fourth highest paid safety in NFL history. To me, that checks out. He's been an elite safety, and he's on the market now, so I'm actually surprised he's not, not even higher than that. I think this actually feels like a reasonable deal for the Atlanta Falcons who entered this entered today with the most cap space uh in football. So using some of that money to, you know, help cheer up that secondary that I think especially uh kind of deep well, you know, could use a safety. They really could have used a safety last year. And I think that you have you still have Casey Hayward and AJ Terrell, two very good corners who kind of had to uh do a lot last year. They were really forced to do a lot given kind of the lack of talent around those two guys, getting a good safety, they're kind of building the right way, which is on defense, building from the back to the front. That's a a lot of times that is the correct way to do it, even though conventional wisdom uh, might tell you to build through the trenches. I think that, you know, a lot of times it's the teams that have good secondary players and good wide receivers and good quarterbacks. Those are the teams that are winning Super Bowls, not the teams with good offensive lines. So getting someone like Jesse Bates, again, Falcons have a lot of work to do if they want to be competitive, but I'm assuming that they're, they want to be competitive before too long. We still don't know what they're going to do quarterback-wise, and that still will be the big question for them. But, you know, they're, they're making some small moves. They don't have to go out and spend all this cap space just because they have it, but you have the cap space. Might as well get a guy like Jesse Bates, who it's not just a move for this next year. It could be a move for several years down the road. The guy's still just 26 years old. This feels like it's a move where they expect him to play out this full four-year contract. Um, and I would expect him to play out this full four-year contract unless something uh, goes terribly wrong, which I don't know if it will. So as a whole, I think that there's, again, there's positives and negatives you could have with this deal. I think the negative you would have is just, is it worth paying a safety $16 million a year? Jesse Bates is very good. I don't know anyone who really disagrees. I think, you know, while none of us can agree on anything, it feels like the one thing we can agree on, Jesse Bates is a very good safety. Like, I think we all agree on that. But the question is just the positional value. Is it worth paying for a top-end safety $16 million when you could maybe get a lower-end safety, maybe get like a, you know, you know I don't know. Uh, a lot of times there are safeties that uh, tend to be, you know, guys who can still play but aren't projected for as much. Like, I'm just looking at the list right now. You know, Adrian Amos is projected for $6 million, uh, a year. Donovan Wilson projected for $5 million a year. You can even go uh, further on the list. Like guys like Kareem Jackson uh, is projected for $2 million a year. Deshaun Gibson projected for $2 million a year. So you can sometimes get some value sa- safeties. Deshaun Elliott for $3 million a year. These are solid starting safeties for le- next to nothing. You can make that happen. But they want a good safety. They want to take advantage of their good corners. And I think that to try to build a great secondary, you probably need a great safety. So that seems to be what Atlanta is doing. And it'll be interesting to see if it works out. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. Of course, as always, thanks for watching.